Hello, my name is Carlton Connor. I am a candidate for the Master of Arts in Higher Education with a focus in student affairs from Grand Canyon University. The first response um, is asking um, for me to identify the leadership model that most closely aligns to your personal leadership style. Servant leadership closely aligns with uh, my personal leadership style. I believe it is because of my parents who inspired me to service at a young age. Not only um, did they introduce it to me at a young age, but I was able to witness them provide for their families and communities uh, with philanthropy work um, through their business and through our food pantry ministry with our church. And I have tried uh, my best to live up to the standard of making my community better. And I have continued to follow suit as a local leader serving on city council as well in my local community. The next one is asking for us to identify uh, specific relationship building skills that will foster positive relationships in a student affairs context. I believe it's important that each staff member within a student affairs department um, gets to know everyone by name and learn something um, personal and unique about each other, uh, which also helps build uh, better relationships with um, each other. And also be positive and enthusiastic in um, your interactions uh, with each other. Um, show people that you care about them. Um, with our staff member um, is facing a tough time or had um, a death in the family, we're able to come together as a team to focus on that, on that individual, but also provide emotional support for them as well. And also uh, create an environment where curiosity thrives. Ensure that when things are, are trending uh, within the college campus, we have people or staff members or the team as a whole uh, work together to find um, those things that, that will help accommodate the different trends that are going on on the college level. The next one is asking us to explain how you approach relationship building and how this compares or contrasts, contrasts to relationship building of servant leaders. I believe it's important for um, all departments across um, uh, student affairs, across any college campus, is to encourage diversity of thought um, because it's important that we have different perspectives um, coming forth to the table to help offset any problems or situations or to better accommodate um, students that are coming on campus that may not be keenly aware of a college environment. And also create a culture of trust. Um, trust is one of the hardest things to regain once it's broken. So ensuring that as a student affairs department and as a leader, servant leader, that we are uh, create a culture of trust where everybody will be able to feel welcome and also um, can have conversations with their leader and things will be kept confidential. And also to foster leadership in others, ensuring that we offer different staff and professional development that will help others become leaders within the department as well. Next one is asking us to explain the importance of followership to the success of servant leaders. I believe the core skills and values mentioned earlier for a servant leader um, allows others to understand the importance of how servant leaders put others, um, problems and concerns ahead of their own individual concerns and problems, which allows people to trust servant leaders, which ultimately uh, leads to trusting their leaders and depend on them uh, to advocate for them through the thick and thin moments they are going through. The next one is asking us to describe your personal experiences with, with relationship building and provide three examples of your strengths and three examples of the challenges you face in building professional relationships. Through team bonding and leadership development, I believe I'm able to connect with my colleagues easier by being authentic with them and working alongside them and not establish a barrier that pushes them away from connecting with me on a level that ensure trust and stability within the work environment. I think the weaknesses will be the lack of time in doing so, but also in making sure that we keep our staff members motivated throughout the process and also make sure they have um, confidence in getting the job done. A strength would be um, communication 
Um, all successful department and businesses that have a strong communication plan succeeds without question. And also encourage a strong teamwork environment and also ensure that we have a great problem solving uh, task force where we're able to put our minds together to solve any issues or problems that may arise within the department. The last question is asking, describe how you would develop followership based on building professional relationships using your leadership style. Well, as a servant leader, it's my job to ensure that we um, support staff through appreciation and recognition and also provide leadership, personal development, and profes professional development opportunities for staff members, encouraging collaboration and employee engagement, which will help build a strong teamwork environment, and also have to care for your team members personally and support them on, a, on, a, on an emotional level. But also ask for feedback from employees through an employee survey, providing an outlet so their voices can be heard and addressed on, on any personnel concerns that may come about within the department. So thank you so much, and I hope you have enjoyed the video.